and welcome to this iMind Map 11 tutorial all about Fast Capture's bubble groups. We're here in the iMind Map home screen and we're going to click Fast Capture to begin and select bubble groups from the submenu. To begin, simply start by typing and hitting enter to insert ideas onto your board. You can begin grouping ideas together that are related to one another by clicking and drop in related bubbles to the main bubble. So anything to do with diet, I can drop in this bubble. And anything that's going to improve fitness can go over here. To go one step further, bubbles within this bubble group can make their own groups. Okay. So from here, I'm going to show you how to begin customizing your bubble groups. Click on the bubble you'd like to customize. Over here, you've got a few options. Let's start by clicking this image icon. Here you can search for a relevant visual to add to your bubble. also search using the image library here as opposed to emojis. So we've added some really nice visuals to our bubble groups, but if you do want to switch between showing images and not, just click this toggle image button in your toolbar to reveal the text again. You can collapse your bubbles to save a bit of space in your project by selecting the main bubble and clicking the collapse icon up here, and expand will reveal it again. So now I'll show you how to insert a note into your bubble groups. Start by selecting the group you want to add the note to. We're back here in our inserting options and you can get note from the drop down menu. This will call up a text box where you can input extra details. Click to come off it. And if I zoom in, you'll be able to see this note icon is now attached to the bubble. I just click it and it will show me the information that I attached earlier. So it's all remain hidden until I need it, which is a really nice way of keeping my project clutter free. I hope you've enjoyed this bubble groups tutorial. Head over to I'm My Maps YouTube channel for more.